Welcome back to the Mixo Shop here in sunny Singapore, where we promote our Hestai products, which we sell on our Etsy and our Amazon site. And today, um, you might have seen, or maybe maybe you haven't seen, that I made this Skull Lady shirt. I did a nice fast time video for it. I wasn't really happy how it turned out, and today we're going to change it into this, which looks very similar, with small detail changes. And I'm going to take you through my changes and show you how you can spot the details and see if you think it's better. So if you're interested in seeing how we updated SVG and turned it into a t-shirt, just keep watching and we'll get right into it. Okay, quickly, I wanted to go over what I wanted to change and didn't like on the shirt. I'm back with the gloves. Uh, a lot of people ask, the gloves are not any special gloves, they're just latex gloves, which I cover my hands when I don't like how my hands are looking, which is today, and so I have the gloves on. So real quickly, so this was our base design that we did. The first one, um, one of the things that, uh, the first major thing that I wanted to change was, I wanted to add more of an outline around the outside so that the shrinking of the HTV will be more forgiving when I place the other. As you can see, um, the uneven shrinking, the hairline comes close there, looks good there, and then comes close there. Um, obviously, that's a shrinking issue that I, uh, that I had that I want to fix. Um, the second one was the dot, of course, that um, I wanted to have the dot come in <laughs> correctly this time. Uh, the third one was the, the hairline here where the hairline hits and the face begins. And I wanted to fix that with, um, um, I wanted to have more of the black line showing between the hairline and the white face. Um, so all of these things I'm doing, things like that I'm gonna do in um, the design portion of it. Again, with this one, I like the feel of a shirt when you can have more of the t-shirt than you have a vinyl. So what I'm gonna do is do it on a white t-shirt and I'm gonna lose all of this white vinyl and just let the back of the t-shirt serve as um, the white part of the face. That's gonna cause me more and more detail weeding, but I think it's gonna be worth it. And in that more detail weeding, I need to actually use my, um, my um, t-shirt weeding pad, sorry, not t-shirt weeding pad, the weed pad, to actually help me get these details around the eyes and in the webbing better so they're smooth, nice, and easy. So this is something where I'm going to really pay attention to the detail when I'm doing the eye work and the, and, uh, the webbing work there. And then finally, I'm not gonna use glitter on the teeth because the glitter is starting to get everywhere. I'm gonna use the white teeth as gonna be the background. And then I'm gonna go with just a regular vinyl gold. I might just go with all gold across the teeth from there. So these are the changes I'm gonna make to the shirt. Um, before before we get started, I just wanted to let you know what, what we're looking for because they're going to look very similar. But these are the changes that we're going for with the shirt. And now we're going to get right into the shirt. Okay, so now we're going to take the face out. So we're going to get the face onto some heat there. Warm it up a bit because there's a lot of detail in this face. And as I said, for this time, we're gonna actually not put white vinyl over the top, but use it as a cutout. So I just get it started a little bit, and then I'm gonna use that heat to go around the eyes. And it's coming off quite nicely there to protect those details. It's starting to go in two different directions at the same time, and that's when you get this kind of pulling that you need to be careful with. And this is where the heat really comes in handy of getting it to release nicely without causing 
those details to pull away. Normally, without the heat, the uh, details would just would just have pulled up with the HTV, and that's why I'm uh, applying the heat to this. Okay, so we're done with all the weeding here. I just wanted to bring to and show you the detail in which the black part, since I took the white out face out and not using vinyl, I'm gonna use the white as the t-shirt in the back. That made my detail weeding a lot uh, more intense, but I think it's actually worthwhile. But you can see using my weed pad with that little bit of heat, the details, especially around the eyes, that you're seeing there, you can see one space where it just didn't come out exactly right. I think it might have been a little bit of a cutting issue, but everything else all popped out fine and the webbing all popped out great. This is, you can see from the size of my finger, this is really detailed, small weeding that I just wouldn't have been able to accomplish without the weed pad. The weed pad, um, I really don't promote it much, but it's a product that we have here and it really came in handy on this one. It's gonna add, just a little bit of heat to your project to actually be able to weed those details. Um, this one, this um, design particular, it really snapped into place and really helped me a lot. So I, I think I'm gonna, this is not a video for the weed pad, but I think I'm gonna make a specific video, another video for the weed pad, um, really showing off how, how it can help you uh, weed more accurately and quickly and do things that you just couldn't do without it because it really helped out in this one. So I wanted to show you this close up of this detailed weeding before we move on into putting it on a shirt and pressing it all together. Okay, we are back at the overhead shot here and we have our all our layers are weeded, put together, ready to cut. What I like to do is I like to place them out onto the shirt and then place them into the order in which I'm gonna press them. And that will give me time to actually do trimming of the carrier sheet so I can actually press as little layers as possible. Now, most people look at layers as color, 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 which it usually mostly works out like that, but it doesn't always have to be that way. You can mix colors on different presses. That's our, our heat press ready to go. You can mix colors on different presses if it works out that you can bring less heat to your project in doing that. And that's what you'll see here today. You'll see the eyes, which are the same color as the dots, not go on in the same pressing because it allowed me to get a, um, a less number of pressings. So I suggest when you're doing a multi-layer project like this, that you definitely do a pre-setup and plan out your layers as you go. And this is what we have done here. So from here, I'm gonna get everything set up and ready to press. Okay, everything is set up and ready to press. I'm going to use 160 degrees Celsius and do five seconds on the tack press. Those are the little presses that we do just to get the vinyl to hold down and cool it off as quick as we can so it doesn't shrink because that's what we saw before around the outline is the shrinking issues that we have there. And then once everything, is, all the layers are pressed to the shirt, we're gonna do our regular 160 degrees Celsius, 20 second full press and cooling it and pressing it down immediately with our cool touch block to sink it right into the shirt. So I'm gonna talk through this like I normally do Why I do it because I'll be making my fast time video with it as well. If you've seen my other videos, you kind of know how this goes. And so we'll jump into it. We take the shirt, we are going to pre-press it with our Teflon sheet on it just to get out any moisture and take out all the wrinkles. And we can literally use our press as an iron so it's no problem with us moving it around like that. And we'll take it off the shirt there. Um, from this point, we wanna go ahead, use our Cool Touch cooling block and cool the shirt down because now we're gonna start placing other vinyls and we want the shirt to be at least just room temperature cool so that it doesn't activate the heat under the other vinyls. 
and we're going to go ahead and put our easy, um, yeah, our easy T Maximus a little hair there. Get it out of here. Our easy T Maximus down. Get it to the center and feel free to use these dots on the shoulder just to make sure you have it lined up perfect, that you have a perfect center there. Now, I'm going to use up to the two inches because this is a medium women's shirt. So it needs to sit a little bit higher. So I can set that right on the two inches, right in the center, making sure these twos match up where I want them to match up. That gives me a good lineup and squareness of the graphic. And you pretty much can't get any tighter than that. Press it down, hold it, get our Teflon back on top of it. And this one is just gonna be a five second tack and I'm not gonna really even time it. I'm gonna press the button and just roughly see where it goes to five seconds and take it off quickly as I can. These are hot peels, so we're gonna peel it off hot and hopefully it'll get to stay. That one didn't stay. So all we need to do, we didn't tack it enough. We just need to come back, hit it again, quicker as we can, just like one or two seconds, because we're just trying to put enough heat and pressure on it for it to stay down. And there it is, it's stay down. It's fighting against me, it's pulling back up. But if we go slowly with the peel, it'll lay nicely. And that means it's not shrinking. And that's fine there, so that, or tap press worked out, so I'm gonna still cool it off. Because the cooler you make it, the, the less the shrinking that will occur. And so we got our base layer down. And this is probably the most important point is where we put the hair to the base layer. So it might take me one or two shots at this. You wanna take your time and make sure you get it right. And look at the edges all the way around that you have a good looking space between all the edges. This space here, the space at the bottom, it looks a little bit bigger at the bottom than it does at the top to me, so I'm gonna redo. And that could have just been my imagination, but it's better to redo and feel better about it then not to, I got a piece of a cut carrier sheet on there, I'm gonna take off. This is probably not gonna be the best fast time video, I'll have to edit it to get it to fit within the one minute that Instagram lets me have to get it up on Instagram. That's okay. Okay, that's fitting in there nice. I like the gap here, I like the gap there. They look even, I'm ready to press that to the shirt. Still, again, another tack press. So this is going to be a five second press. The major parts are all together. So I'm not so much concerned about the shrinking. I'm starting to get less concerned about the shrinking as we go. This, is it pulling away? It's tough. No, it's pulling away. So I need to get more heat, more pressure down on it. I'm going really conservative on the tack press because I don't want it to pull, I don't want it to shrink. I was worried about the shrinking in the last time. So I'm going really conservative on the tack press. And that's still peeling. So we're gonna give it a little bit. And I think what we're gonna do Let's cool it down a bit. This might be too hot. Let me take our cool touch and cool it down. Let's see if that helps it. Yeah, that helped it a lot. It's coming up nice now. So this rainbow is stated as a, a hot peel, but it's acting more as a warm peel. So now we're gonna get our multiple pieces on. 
and we're gonna start with our rows. I'm confused about how the row sits. It sits like that, there it goes. Stick in the scarf. And the bow. And the gums, we can get the gums in there. So let's get the gum. Oh, and the eyes too. Let's get the eyes in there. And the gums. for the gums. Thin across here and leave a thin black line around them. So the last thing is the dots in the in the teeth. And we're gonna go ahead and give this a five second press. <laughs> Again, more liberal with the heat on this one because the shrinkage should be okay at this point. And we can go ahead and pull up our sheets. And if you cut them, it's very hot. And sometimes it's easier to grab it underneath the bottom from the heat because it's extremely, still extremely hot. And that's why we have to cool it down from there to get it back to a nice temperature to go ahead and put the dots in the teeth on. First, we'll take our dots, flip it right to the right proper way. Make sure all the dots are there this time. And do a really nice fit. The dots, because the dots have a knockout effect to them, where the black shows through. And this time I'm going to go with all the teeth being gold. So, put the teeth there, I think I'm upside down. that's okay and I changed my mind I'm gonna have just one golden tooth so no edit here so I can get one tooth prepared okay I've taken the teeth off and I'm back with just the dots and one single gold teeth a tooth sorry one teeth uh, one single gold tooth and we're gonna go ahead and press that we're gonna continue on with a tack press here, even though we could do a full press at this point. 
but we're going to just go ahead and hit it with a quick tack press to get to get it to release because these are tiny bits of HTV so they're going to be extremely hot especially my tooth here there we go and now we're going to go ahead and finish it off with a full 20 second press putting good pressure down on it not really i'm not sitting on it as obviously as some people do and and whatnot just putting the standard pressure that you would put down onto onto a press pull it off and we go straight to our cooling block because we are literally cooling and pressing that hot gooey htv into the fibers of the shirt so this i am pressing very well because i want it to cool and lock into place and we're going to peel it off and there it is from here we're going to go and give you a side-by-side -side comparison coming up and then we can see what we changed and then do our classic close-ups okay so now we've got our shirts side by side and i think you can see the uh the difference immediately in the shirts on the various when you look at them side by side when you look at it singly as a shirt you go oh that's nice that's good enough but then when you look at it side by side and you do a side by side comparison you start to see where the issues were with the one and not with the other one over there especially along the hairline that hairline looks a lot cleaner the edges look a lot centered and smoother by thickening up the outside from there and i think the shirt is going to fit and feel a lot nicer because as you see this has got vinyl all deep in here here it's a little bit of a softer shirt because that's not vinyl that's just the shirt so i'm really happy with the with the um decision to go with um uh, just doing the shirt into the um the white areas using the shirt as the background and i think the uh svg has been approved uh, been improved now and it looks really good uh, this is probably something that you want to look at when you're purchasing svgs that the people that are selling you svgs have cut and actually made a shirt out of it before they sell you an svg because a lot of people will sell you an svg and they you know it's an svg for print or an SVG for something, for a stencil, but it's not for a t-shirt. And cutting t-shirts are a different ball games than doing other forms of using an SVG. So using your SVG, making your SVG, designing it, and then using it is very important because you can make these little bits and subtle changes to the SVG file to get you a more refined look compared to the beginning look that you had from here. So I hope you liked watching the video and you got something from it and you, you like the process of seeing this evolve from its beginning state to its final state and you can come back and watch the next one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I really enjoyed making it. I love the design of this shirt. I love the, the new way it came out. The old one wasn't so bad, but this one is a lot better. We have this updated SVG on our Etsy site. So if you want to get in on it and make the shirt yourself, and you can follow the steps along with me or go your own route, you can do that as well. But here it is, and I hope you enjoyed watching and come back and, and join us for the next one as we're going to try to pick up the pace and make more coming soon. 